But really what I've learnt about Israel has been from being in Israel itself. And it's a country that I love. And I've been there three times, not nearly enough. But I was first there in the late 60s. And um, I worked on a kibbutz. And really? Wow. It's probably, you've seen it change so much, I imagine. It's changed enormously. I slept on the beach in Eilat. Um, I hitchhiked around Israel. And then I came back. Uh, I shot some of the debt in Israel. I've been there um, I, I just uh, on, a, on a kind of a holiday as well. So it's a country that I really love, that I find inspiring and um, full of really extraordinary people. They are the most inspiring people, some of the Israelis you meet, incredibly courageous and, um, and with great soul. So I find it, and also it's a very, very beautiful country. So it's a country that really has a, a, an important place in my heart. And I completely agree with Hillary, um, uh, Hillary and J.K. Rowling. I, I, a cultural boy boycott is a, a really bad idea. The people who are the most inspiring in Israel tend to be from the cultural community. The writers, the directors, the poets, the musicians. They are truly extraordinary people doing amazing work, peace, peace giving work, uh, working towards peace all the time. So to cut them off is the craziest idea. I, 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 I don't agree with it at all. Through all the difficulties and all the pain that Israel has suffered in the past and will in the future, the great thing that Israeli has is Israelis and they will guide it through.